Our lesson plan focuses on goal five. The learner will choose not to participate in substance abuse. Objective 5.06 is define fetal alcohol syndrome, explain its effects, and describe how it is prevented. This lesson plan is called fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Um, it is for grade nine, and the expectation for the students is to identify strategies to minimize potentially dangerous situations. First, we're gonna begin a classroom discussion to review the definition of fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. The purpose of this initial activity is to quickly assess student background knowledge. We're gonna review the introduction to fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, which is an overhead. Next, we're going to have the students copy down the information on the overhead and it's going to differenti differentiate the fetal alcohol syndrome and the fetal alcohol effects. Now we're going to have the students complete a quiz individually and we're going to take it up as a large group and answer the information we provided. After that, we'll have the students copy the overhead notes on alcohol and pregnancy. In small groups, three to four students have students or the characteristics of fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and to the proper groups based on when the characteristic first appears in the life of a person with fetal alcohol syndrome. Some examples are infancy, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, adult, any time in life or not a characteristic of fetal alcohol syndrome. Here's a list of characteristics for the teacher to copy and cut out for the group activity. The students will work together to put the characteristics under the correct category. The group that completes this first will receive extra credit on the unit exam at the end of the week. Next, have the students watch the video titled Different Directions, Understanding Fetal Alcohol Syndrome and answer the questions on the question sheet. This video presents interviews and discussions with parents and those who work with individuals with FASD about their experiences in caring for children. It also discusses issues related to diagnosis, intervention, and prevention. This video is presented in a positive framework and addresses the root causes of alcohol misuse. This video should take approximately 25 minutes of class time. Next, we're going to have the students brainstorm a list of agencies in the area involved in the education, prevention, and treatment of fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. The following are agencies for further information on fetal alcohol syndrome. Kids Help Phone Line, Mother Risk, Brighter Futures, and Center for Addiction and Mental Health. 
For further enrichment, have the students contact agencies dealing with FASD to get more information to design a pamphlet, do a presentation, design a poster, make a video, or another project they come up with. If pressed for time, we recommend photocopying these additional study materials to send home with the students or skipping the group activity. At the end of the week, there will be a unit exam administered to assess the students on the material that has been provided. This exam will focus on the definition and causes of fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. It will also address the basic needs of a person living with FASD and how to manage pupils with this syndrome, such as infants, young children, school-aged children, adolescents, and young adults. This lesson plan should take approximately 75 minutes or over the course of two class periods. It should also have one additional day for examination.